Hi, good morning. I'm John with Platinum Tools and today we want to introduce to you the Easy RJ45 shielded connectors that we offer in the Easy Design. We have two types. We have the internal ground design and we have the external ground design. A question that I'm asked all the time is, are you sure that that one connector is going to work both on 5E and 6? And I go, yeah, yeah, it will work. And let me tell you why. It's because the shield of the connector is built on the Easy Cat 6 platform. And that's the key to it. So we're able to use one connector for both 5E and 6. And the your 5E, remember that the distance of the twist to the point of termination is the key. On 5E, your twist has to be less than, five, than half an inch. So that means that when you prep your cable, that jacket is going to be about right there, right past that strain latch. If you're doing CAT6, that means that when you put the jacket into the connector, you need to keep pushing it up in there like a regular CAT6 and get that jacket up to about right in that area there. And that's going to assure you that your twists are less than 3 16 and it's going to meet then the CAT6 performance requirements. So that's how it is. It works. One connector, CAT5E, CAT6, it's all in the prep. Okay, our first termination we're going to do is on the internal shield, easy RJ45, and we're going to do a shielded CAT5E cable. So here's my CAT5E cable, and the first thing, of course, that you're going to want to do is to remove the jacket. So we're going to score the jacket and pop the cable and remove it and finish okay, prepping now the cable. Okay, before I do any cutting to the foil, I'm just going to sort of push it out of the way, still intact, my drain wire, and of course I'm going to have to remove the cellophane, take that down and remove it. And then we're going to lay these out like we normally do with any uh, easy connector or any connector. Lay these pairs out to separate. Okay now we've taken our pairs and we've not only separated them we've combed the kinks pretty much out of them so I'm ready to lay them out to the A or the B. My foil I'm still going to work with it so I know that this is going to be the bottom side of my connector so I'm going to go ahead and just sort of prep the foil right there I've taken my drain wire, it's wrapped around the bottom of the jacket beneath, between the jacket and the foil. And then we're going to lay these out and into the pairing. Now my pairs are laid out to the configuration of the B, orange, white first and so forth. And now I'm going to take my connector, did a nice clean flush cut in the front, and we're going to put the connectors through. they come out the front end and I'm going to stop at that point and prep my foil for the back end. So I'm putting my cable, connectors are coming out the front end, the shields at the back end. It's only about three-eighths of an inch down on the jacket from the end. Stop at that point and I'm ready to do my crimp. You notice I've set my jacket even further than it needs to be. The closer the twist to the point of termination, the higher the performance. Okay, now on the same connector, still the internal ground, I'm doing a larger CAT6 cable. And you'll notice that I've already taken the jacket off. I brought my pairs down here to be separated. And I have my drain wire right here. And of course this one comes with, I call it the spline, it's a pair separator. And notice something missing, because I've removed it, the foil. Why did I remove the foil? Because this jacket is at 260, it's the max. So the foil is going to make it bigger and cause problems with going in. And this is where I'm going to rely on the drain wire uh, for my ground. So we're going to need to remove this uh, pair separator. We're going to cut it carefully down here right at the end of the jacket. Make sure when we cut it, we do not nick these conductors. And let's go ahead and prep this cable, separate them, lay them out, and let's see how this works. Yeah. And of course, what I'm doing here is using our flush cutter, the 10531, a great cutter to have in your toolbox for doing flush cuts. 
and I've taken this pair separator and now it's removed and now we're going to separate the pairs. And I've started to put the connector on. See the conductors coming out the front end. And before I set it, make sure the color code is right, which it is. So we keep continuing to put it on. Now this cable, as I said, it has the spline in it right here at the end of the jacket. So it's pretty t hard. It's not going to be able to, and it's very round. So it's going to fight going in that back end. So a little trick to help us here is to use the oval or grip part of my pliers. And I'm going to use these out of my tool box here. And I'm going to use this part of the tool, and not real hard, but I'm going to shape it to ovalize it so it enters the back end a lot easier and go up into the cable. And that does not take away from certification. So once I've done that, now I can put it in there. And so I'm going to continue to set it, and then I'm going to fix the wire at the back end, which is going to be my ground. And remember, we're doing CAT 6 here. So you can see maybe the end of the jacket uh, showing up there toward the, coming in from the back. But we're, we need to get that almost up flush to the back of the contact. So we have a little ways to go. So I'm going to finish putting it on. And my ground wire is on the back side where the spring leaves are for the internal ground. And that will go along with it. And it's going to sit right there on top of those leaf springs. And then we should be ready to terminate it. So let's go ahead and do the last part of the prep. Okay, here's the back end. You can slightly see my ground wire. I looped it and coil, foil, whoa, <laughs> fo foiled it around. But you can see it right there at the back end. It's sitting really nice on those springs. It's going to be a good ground. And then am I going to meet CAT 6? Yes, I will, because my twist, see the end of the jacket, are right there where they belong at the back of the contacts. So here we go, CAT 6, internal ground, ready to be terminated. So the first thing we're going to do is take a CAT6 cable and I'm going to use a stripper here where I have an adjustable cable jacket stripper which I've adjusted perfectly so that I can set it to just score the jacket still intact and then when I pop it I did not score the shield, so the foil is totally intact. That's very important. So let's go ahead and start peeling the foil down and get this cable prepped. This prepped. cable, of course, has a pair of separator, and we're going to need to get rid of that. And I like to use my little flush cutters, and we're going to come in and trim it and then remove so it. So the foil I've kept intact, brought it down to the end of the jacket, folded it all the way back. I've twisted my drain wire so the strands are all together. And then I've separated my pairs and now the next step is separating the pairs. So let's separate okay, the pairs. Okay, I've combed out my kinks and my conductors. I laid them out. I'm doing the B. So I start with orange white, end with brown. And of course my foil was, is in place, my drain wire. So what I need to do now is trim the conductors and then insert it into the connector. Okay, my conductors, I've pushed them through the front end. My pair, they haven't changed on me, they're correct. And I'm going to start inserting the jacket back here. And it is a big jacket, so I'm going to reform it a little bit oval, which does not take away from certification, and get it so it slides up in there because this is CAT6. That means the twist, which are right here, I need to get them up here. So the next step is to take my pliers or with the oval part and I'm going to reshape it. Well guess what? I knew this cable was big and I wanted to see if I could get the foil in with it on the jacket. I couldn't. So I had to remove the foil to get the cable up in here as you can see to do the CAT 6. It has to be up there toward the flush to the back of the contacts. And then what I did is I'm relying on my drain wire, and my drain wire is right there, and I coiled it up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come down and press it in, and then I'm going to wrap my wing around the jacket. So that's my next step here. And again, I'm going to rely on my pliers. Okay, so here we are, ready to be terminated in the tool. I'm not going to terminate it, but 
Here's the connector, ready to go. Uh, again, the twist up here to the back of the contacts, that's CAT6, and here's your external ground. Notice I couldn't use the foil because the cable was at its max. Just no way would it, the foil and the cable fit. But I relied on the drain wire and I rolled it up into a little mass right here. It's rolled up three times and that's where the ground is taking place. So there's your finished crimp ready to be, I mean, <laughs> RJ45 shielded external ground CAT6. Thanks.